Hey everybody, it's James here from GoodGuitarist.com, and in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to play Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. And this is a four chord wonder, which means it's the same four chords in the same order the entire time. The chords themselves, they're all basic open shapes. Um, there's a little bit of variation in the strumming and the rhythm, which we'll go over, and I'm also going to show you how to play that intro melody. If along the way you find that you need any extra help, I have a few resources. There's my free ebook, which goes over all the basics of chords and strumming, and that's completely free. There's a link for that down below. I also have my complete beginners course, um, my strumming course, which should be coming out very soon if it's not out already. And there's also the chord chart on my Patreon for this tune. Uh, you can find all that stuff down below. Let's just get started with the chord shapes here. Oh, really quick, actually. For the demo, I was using a capo on the third fret, and you will need to do that if you wanna play along with the original recording. But for the purpose of this tutorial, let's do it without the capo, just in case you don't have one. That way you can still follow along and we'll sound the same. You know, so I'm just gonna put it away for now. Anyways, we're gonna get started with the chord shapes. First, we have a D minor. Then we go to A minor. And when we're switching from D minor to A minor, I want you to pay close attention to these two fingers because they stay in the same spot. Whether you do D minor like this or like this, these two fingers are going to be there and you just move them over, just one string each, just like that, and then you finish up your A minor shape. Just to make that switch a little bit easier. Then we go from A minor to C. And once again, A minor to C, there's a trick for that too. We just have to move one finger. So be sure to keep those two fingers down and you just move one finger. You have to readjust a little bit, you know, change the angle of your hand just to get your fingers as close to the frets as possible. Arch those fingers. And then finally we have a G chord. And for C to G, there is no trick. You just have to work that one out over and over again. And you can play G like this, you know, and just practice that. Either way, just be consistent. You know, do it the same way over and over again so you can build up that muscle memory. So before we go any further, let's practice playing these chords downstrokes only, just so we can get used to the switching. We're gonna do eight downstrokes each, which is two measures. We're counting to four two times per chord shape. You'll see what I mean. Starting out on D minor, one, two, Three, four. Three, four, one, two, three. Switch to A minor. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. To C. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. To G. Two, Minor, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, to A minor, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So make sure you can do it just like that, downstrokes only, counting to four, two times per chord shape. And then to that, we can add the strumming pattern, which goes like this. And that is the most common strumming pattern ever. I've taught it a million times. It's in my ebook, in my courses. I have a lesson just for that that I'll put in the corner here. So if you want more practice with that pattern, there's plenty. But let's just really quickly go over it right now. We can divide it into two halves. First, we have down, down up, so down stroke on beat one, down up on beat two, and we practice it counting like this. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, three, four. Down, down, up, three, four. You know, we add that three, four, just so we can keep a full cycle of four beats going as we practice it. Anyways, the second half now is miss, up, down, up. So we miss the strings on beat three, and then we go up, down, up and we practice it going one, two, miss, up, down, up. 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 
And once you've practiced each of those halves, we put it together first saying it, going down, down, up, miss, up, down, up, and then we try playing it. Down, down, up, miss, up, down, up, down, down, up, miss, up, down, up. And once you can do it a few times in a row like that, try it over each chord shape, you know, get used to it. We can try it a little bit faster. I'm gonna play on a G chord here just to change it up. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, miss, up, down, up, down, down, up, miss, up, down, up. And once again, if you need any extra help with that, I've gone over that in all of my resources, you know, my ebook, my course, and there's a lesson for it. I'll put all the links down below. Um, and let's just try it now with our chord progression. Starting off on D minor, we're going to do our pattern two times per chord shape. Here we go. A one, two, three, four. Cool. Now you could play the entire song just like that, just strumming it each chord two times with that pattern. It'll sound great, but we can put some finishing touches on this tune that'll really make it sound like the original recording. Now, the first thing I want to point out is when we play it like we just did with that pattern, that's what I would do over the chorus every time. But for the verse, I would actually take one stroke out of our strumming pattern and make it a little bit simpler just because the verse is a little bit more chill than the chorus. So I would go like this. I got rid of that first up stroke. So instead of going down, down, up, up, down, up, we're going down, down, up, down, up. So let's just try that nice and slow on a D minor chord. Down, down, miss, up, down, up, down, down, miss, up. And let's go through our chord progression using that pattern just so you can get a little bit of practice with it. Uh, one, two, three, four. So that's the verse. Now for the pre-chorus, we're gonna use the same pattern as the verse. The only difference is when we get to the G chord, we're just gonna strum it once and then stop the strings. Like that, so. And then we just lightly touch it with our hand. I'll show you, you're welcome to try or you can just watch, see what's going on and then rewind it and try it with me after. Here's the pre-chorus. A uh, one, two, three, four. first pattern that we learned and that's it for the strumming you know we have our verse where we do our down down up down up pattern we have the pre-chorus where we do that same pattern but we stop on the G chord and we count two three four one two three four then we have the chorus where we do the most common strumming pattern ever plus our chord progression like we first initially did there's also a bridge which we play it just like the chorus you know that's that's the beauty of the four chord wonder the chords are staying the same same order the entire time the only thing we haven't checked out is that melody. It goes like this.
and that melody is really two melodies played two times each. So let's break it down that way. The first one is... So we're on the B string, the second string, at the third fret, and I'm going to be playing that with my ring finger. We play that note two times. One, two, three, four. Just like that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Next, we're going to go to the first fret of the B string, and we're going to pluck the first fret, third fret, and then the high E string open. So on the B string, one, three, zero on the E string. And for the picking, I would go up, down, up, just so we can keep the upstrokes on the off beats and the downstrokes on the on beats, just like when we're strumming. You know, so with the counting, what we have so far, one and two and three and four and one and. So just take a look at that with the counting and, and try that. We'll do it super slowly. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and one more time. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now we just have two more notes. We have the second fret of the G string and I'm playing that with my middle finger. And then we have the first fret of the B string. And that's like on your A minor shape. So before we get into the rhythm, let's just play the notes in order. We have three, three, one, three, oh, two, one. And I would recommend practicing going from the high E string, two, one, just that part over and over again, because we have to skip a string, you know, high E string over to the G string, second fret, and then B string, first fret. And as far as the rhythm's concerned, the last three notes all happen on off beats. You know, let's just practice the second half of it. It goes like this. So we're gonna go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and down, up, up, up. And when you put that all together, this is what you get. A uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. A little bit slower. Three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so do it slowly a whole bunch till you're used to it and then gradually get it faster till you can get it to and we do it two times then we do the second lick which goes like this And that one's a lot shorter. It repeats as well. We start off on the third fret of the high E string and we go three, O. Oh. Then we go to the B string and we go three, one. So let's try that on the high string. Three, O, oh, three, one. And once again, those are mostly off beats. One and two and three and four. And, you know, the first note is on the beat and then it's all ands. So it helps a lot to count out loud. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So we do it one time like that. And then we do it again, but we're going to add the third fret of the B string at the end of it going. And that's it. So let's practice that super slowly. Three, 
four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. And then we count out one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four to take up the right amount of space before we work our way into either the strumming or doing this whole thing again. So now that we've worked out all the little melodies, let's put it together. We're gonna play each one two times and then we end it with the third fret. You'll see what's going on. You can always just watch it, see what's happening and then rewind it and try it with me after. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four one and two and three and four and 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 Let's do it a little bit quicker now, just so we can actually, you know, hear what it sounds like. Uh, one, two, three, four. All right, so those are all the bits that make up this tune. Let's put them all together, just so you can get some practice playing along. We're gonna do the instrumental, the verse, the pre-chorus, and the chorus, just like it is at the start of the song. And then you would just repeat those parts over and over again, and that's the whole tune. One, two, three, four. So that's how you play Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. If you need any extra help, don't forget to check out my resources, my free ebook, my complete beginner's course. There's that chord chart on the Patreon if you need any help, you know, reading all this stuff and sort of remembering it and working on it. Um, other than that, have a fun time practicing and I'll see you soon.